Welcome to this Cydox instructional video on how to automatically deploy AIX on IBM Power using your mobile device. This video assumes that you already have a user account at Cydox. If you do not already have a user account at Cydox, you may want to view the instructional video titled How to Create a New User Account at Cydox from your mobile device. This video is available from the Cydox Knowledge Base under the category of instructional videos and you can get to the knowledge base from the Cydox app using the sidebar menu. Please note that during this video I'll be using a mouse pointer to indicate which buttons to press on your mobile device and when to press them. The first step will be to download and install the Cydox app from either the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store, depending upon what type of mobile device you have. In the App Store, search for Siteox, that's S-I-T-E space O-X, and once you've found the Siteox app, download and install it, and then open the app and you will see a screen that looks similar to this. You will see several buttons that allow you to order new services, manage services, manage your account, and contact us. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, you'll see a button labeled Account. Press this button to display a pull down menu, and in this menu, press Login, and the login screen will be displayed. Here you'll enter your email address associated with your Cytox user account. I have a demo user account set up that I will use for the purpose of this video, so I will enter video at sidox.com and then the password associated with that. And again, you'll enter your email address and password associated with your user account at Sidox and then press the login button. The account home screen will be displayed where you can view several different types of information including the number of active services you have, any invoices that are due, and the number of open tickets you have. Since this demo account is a new account, there will not be any active services or open tickets. To automatically deploy an AIX LPAR, press the sidebar menu button and select services. From here, select order new services and a screen will be displayed showing a list of products and services at Cydox. From this list press the button labeled IBM AIX LPARS. A screen will be displayed with a couple of options for ordering AIX LPARS. The first option is for ordering one-time short-term LPARS. The second option is for ordering monthly reoccurring LPARs. The difference between these two options is the one-time short-term option allows you to lease by the day or by the week or up to a month at a time, whereas the monthly reoccurring option allows you to lease by the month and then automatically reoccurs every month. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to order a one-time short-term AIX LPAR, so I will press the Order Now button associated with that option. This will display the product configuration screen, which shows the configurable options for the AIX LPAR. The first option allows you to configure the amount of time you want to lease the LPAR. From the pull-down list, you can select the number of days, weeks, or up to a month of time to lease the LPAR. I will choose one day. The next option is the operating system version. From the pull-down list, you can select AIX 7.1, AIX 6.1, or AIX 5.3. I will choose the default option of AIX 7.1. Then you can pick the number of processors you want for your LPAR. You can pick the amount of memory you want. And finally, the amount of storage you want. Once you've finished selecting your configurable options, then press the Add to Cart button to add this to 
add this order to your shopping cart. This will display the order summary screen where you where it will show you your new order and the options you selected associated with that order. You can verify that your order is correct and then either edit or remove the item from your shopping cart if needed. From this screen you can continue shopping by pressing this button. This will allow you to add additional products and services to your shopping cart before you check out. For the purpose of this video I will press the checkout button to continue with the order for this one single item in the shopping cart. This will display the checkout screen where you can finalize your order. This screen will show you all the items that you are ordering. In this instance we're just ordering one item. It will also show you the details of the user placing the order. It will show you the payment method that was configured by the user when they set up their account. If there's more than one payment method it will allow you to select from payment methods. And then you can enter any notes or additional information that you want to add for your LPAR. Then you'll need to press the checkbox next to the statement that says you have read and agreed to the terms of service. After that you can press the complete order button to finalize your order and begin the build out process of your newly ordered LPAR. This will display the order confirmation screen. Your order number is displayed on this screen here. From this screen you can view the new service you just ordered by pressing the My Services button or you can press the sidebar menu button, select services, then press my services. This will display a screen showing your products and services that you've ordered at Sidox. Since the demo user account was a new account, it will only have the one service we just ordered, the AIX LPAR. We can see that that AIX LPAR is in the list of services and we can also see that it is in a pending state. That means that it is in the process of being built out. This takes about one hour for AIX so I will pause the video while that takes place and I'll resume the video once the build out is complete. I am resuming the video now. The AIX LPAR build out is complete. The server is now active and ready for user access. However, we still see this screen that's showing the AIX LPAR in a pending state. So I will refresh this screen to update that status by going to the sidebar menu and selecting services and then pressing my services. This will refresh the screen and now the AIX LPAR shows that it is in an active state. So the next question is how do I access the new AIX LPAR that was just built? How do I connect to it? During the build out process of the AIX LPAR you would have been sent notification to your email address to inform you that a support ticket was created containing your connection information. The email you were sent contains a direct link to this support ticket so you can check your email, click on the link and access the connection information support ticket. You could also just go directly to your support tickets. Additionally, you can obtain the information by going to the My Products and Services screen as you're looking at here and then look at the details of the AIX LPAR that was just built. So to view the details, we'll click on the View Details button associated with this new AIX LPAR. This will display a screen containing the details of the new LPAR. From the details you can see the host name and you can see the lease time of one day that we selected. You can see the operating system we selected. You can see the number of processors, the amount of memory, and the storage that was selected. If you scroll down on this screen you'll also see the expired date and time. 
the expire date is the date and time of when the lease will expire on this LPAR. At this date and time, the LPAR will be suspended but not removed. Everything on the LPAR will still exist, but it will be inaccessible after this date and time. The terminate date is the date and time when the LPAR will be deleted and removed. The LPAR will not be recoverable after this date and time. The mobile user interface will allow you to add time to the, A to the AIX LPAR lease by extending the lease up to and until the expire date and time. The procedure to extend the LPAR lease is covered in a different video, so look at the list of instructional videos in the knowledge base to view that video. But be aware that you can extend the time using the extend function in the view details button for each LPAR. So between the expire date and time and the terminate date and time, the user interface will allow you to renew the LPAR lease. Again, that procedure is, is in a different video, so you'll have to see the knowledge base to see that video. So finally, the connection information. Let's go to the sidebar menu button and press support and go to tickets. And we see that we have a support ticket here that contains the system connection information. So let's click on that. And that will display our connection information support ticket. In the support ticket, you can see the connection information such as the host name and firewall port to connect to. So here is the host name, here's the fire, firewall port, uh, and here is a randomly generated username that you'll use to connect to your LBAR and a randomly generated password that you can use. You'll also see a example SSH command that you can use to connect to the LBAR. So please be aware that the only firewall port open for your LPAR is the SSH port. So you'll have to use an SSH tool to connect your LPAR. You'll have to use the SSH command as shown here or some other SSH tool. You can also get to your connection information from the view details in the My Services area. So if you go to Services and My Services and click on the View Details, uh, the connection information is listed in there or a link to the connection information is there as well. And that is it on how to automatically deploy, deploy an AIX LPAR using your mobile device. If you would like additional information on the various products and services provided by Cydox, you can go to Cydox.com and view the knowledge base. In the knowledge base, there are lots of instructional videos that describe how to perform all of the features and functions associated with the automated deployment of systems into the cloud. There is also a list of services in the knowledge base provided by Cydox, and there is also a list of how-to articles there as well. That is the end of this video. Thank you for listening and watching.